I have no answer for that. Um, Could you explain me what is it? If I sell you uh, fruit directly, my aunt, she does Avon. <laughs> Uh, direct sales, uh, what do I know about it? Um, I've had to guess. Uh, I really don't know. Direct selling could involve multiple methods, such as door-to-door -door selling, or presenting and selling at a consumer's home. It is marketed through independent sales representatives, who are sometimes also referred to as distributors, direct sellers, or other titles. As a direct seller, you determine how much time and energy you want to invest in your business. You set your own hours and your own goals. A direct seller has the freedom to choose what product they want to sell, nutritional supplements, household, cosmetics, financial products, personal care. The list is endless. In direct selling, there are no required levels of education, experience, financial resources, race, age, or physical condition. All have the exact same rights to experience opportunity and financial freedom. In other words, direct selling is universal. But the real question is, what do people really know out there about direct selling? Can I tell you when it first started? Wow. From start the internet, maybe 1988, like that. I think 20 years ago. <laughs> I'm going for 2000. I'm going for 1984. I have no idea when direct selling first started. 1999, 2000 or so. Like about when the bubble, the dot-com bubble. Billions of dollars, I do not know. A lot of money. I'm going to have to say it's probably millions. What, billions, I guess? Uh, I know they're making a lot of money. One million? <laughs> Is that too high? Uh, I'd like to get some of it. According to the Direct Selling Association, the direct selling industry is worth over $180 billion in sales worldwide today with over 60 million sales consultants across the globe. But this was all a long time coming. Direct selling is by no way a new phenomenon. Early direct sellers, hawkers, peddlers, are part of an ancient prehistoric tradition that originated in man's basic need to exchange goods and to communicate. In fact, examples go back 3,000 years to the Temple of Ulysses. Among the early civilizations, Egypt, Babylonia, and India were also involved in trade. The selling tradition continued to thrive with each passing century through worldwide economic expansion. Familiar names like Henry Heinz created an organization of 400 salesmen to sell various vegetable products like ketchup and pickles to people who didn't grow their own. By the start of the 20th century, there were slightly less than 93,000 traveling salesmen and a number of larger organizations on the rise. There was a growing need for the formation of a national association. In 1910, what is today known as the Direct Selling Association was formed in Binghamton, New York. The formation of this national group marks the start of the modern day direct selling era and included companies that still thrive today. In 1945, the industry experienced a change. Meitinger and Castleberry, exclusive American distributor of Neutralite products, created the first documented multi-level marketing compensation plan. This plan could motivate a salesperson to not only sell more products, but to train others to sell more products as well. This has important historical significance as it marks the point we could call the birth of network marketing as we know it today. But with change comes challenges. The new compensation plan brought on more scams defined as pyramid schemes. 
Today, government bodies, like the Direct Selling Association, work to protect consumers against these pyramid schemes and fraud, setting regulations, ethical codes of practice, working with Congress, consumer protection organizations, educational organizations, and others on behalf of its member companies. The problem is, scams still exist. Because the truth of the matter is, what you have learned today about the direct selling industry is one of the few documentations of its kind. The knowledge that can guide right from wrong and failure from success, which never existed before in solid, credible form until now. A one-of-a-kind institute has risen from the crowd to provide network marketers and direct sellers with an educational platform to help them soar. A certified education that can make a difference in the world of direct selling, promoting the sharing of knowledge of the industry for the industry. Because when the people hold the knowledge is when change can occur. The more we know, the more we sell, the more ethical we are, the more positive impact we can create. Help protect the direct selling industry. Help it to know more. Help others to know more about it. Start with yourself. Take pride in the knowledge you can own and share. Create that positive impact. Start the ripple effect. Start today. www.idsei.com